Good morning, my lovely little ghosts, and welcome to the Dark Orchard. I'm Laura, and this is a craft video. As was said in my intro, this is a craft video. More specifically, I've got a Frozen-themed craft, and we're going to do it together. Now let's discuss what the craft actually is, because this is something that I was super excited about. I believe I was at Target. This has been a while back since I bought this, but I believe I was at Target, and they had a bunch of Frozen-themed things. And one of the Frozen 2 themed things that they had was this. This is a Grow Your Own Crystal Tree Kit. I was so excited to see that, like freaked out, instantly said I'm buying this, didn't even look at the price tag, I think it was like five bucks, which is kind of expensive for one tree, but was super excited, totally worth the five dollars. These things were something that I love to do so much. I when I was in elementary school, like fifth grade, fourth or fifth grade, I think it was fifth grade, we had science things all the time. My elementary school was very NASA based and we did a lot of science experiments because it was NASA based. Like we even had our own space station that we made out of a mobile home. So it was a big deal and science was a big deal at my elementary school. One of the sciencey things that we did was make these trees. And and how you actually make them yourself, you take your cardboard tree cut out, you put them together, and then once the tree's standing up, you dye the tips of the tree with a specific color food coloring. Like if you want an all green leaf tree, you do green. If you want pink, pink, etc. And then, once that has dried and seeped into the cardboard, you, you take water, salt, ammonia, and the blue laundry detergent stuff that keeps your clothes white, and you, it's like a certain amount of that stuff, and you mix it all together, and then put it at the base of the cardboard. And over the process of about 24 hours, 18 to 24, sometimes 10 depending on how small your tree is, your tree will bloom and it'll bloom these really pretty crystals. I think they're just the most beautiful thing. I'm one of those people that thinks that the fuzzy mold is cool, so I think that the fuzzy crystals look cool too. So of course, I freaked out when I saw this kit. Kit includes the cardboard tree. Or the cardboard tree already has its um and the cardboard tree already has its colors on the tip. And then of course they're frozen color. They're like fall colored, so it's orange and purple. It comes with a stand and a basin where the mixture goes. It comes with the mixture and all you have to do is set the tree up and put the tree in the basin and then pour the liquid into the basin and it will grow. I actually won a kit that was a bunch of different color trees and I made it last for months because I did one tree a month until I was done with it and it had multiple ones. So. Probably about five different ones, so five months worth of growing crystal trees. I loved them. I thought, so, without further delay, let's get started. I'm going to cut away from here, and I'm going to do a voiceover of me going through the process of putting the tree together and all the things that come with it, because I think it even comes with, like, little cardboard Elsa and Anna's, which is really cute. And I'm going to put that all together, voice it over, and then voice over as it grows. So let's cut to that. Alrighty, so this is me actually unboxing the crystal tree to show you everything that comes in it. First we have the Elsa stand-up, and then we have the Anna stand-up, and they're very simple, but they're so adorable. Next in the list of things that they have are a pack of stickers, just a one little sheet of leaf stickers that I set to the side and kind of forgot about. And then there's the liquid. The liquid, of course, contains the things that I mentioned earlier. It has a stand and the cardboard tree, and the cardboard tree just kind of fits into each other in a very awkward and difficult way, and then you have to situate it into the base, which is a lot harder than it sounds. I had a little trouble with it at first, but I got it. And then here's me readjusting the camera and trying to find the perfect angle so that you guys can watch it grow in the perfect way. And I readjusted it quite a lot before I decided on a good angle and positioned the Elsa and Anna where they should be. 
and I think it did a pretty good job finding the right angle, and then I decided to take my desk lamp and point my desk lamp directly at it. But that was after I decided to put the stickers on. I remembered I had the stickers, and I put the stickers on the base of it, but I didn't look at how it was actually done on the crystal example. So I ended up just kind of placing the stickers randomly all over the place. I believe I did three stickers on each side and then the four stickers on top that really didn't need to be there. The main point of that is just to tell you that I went kind of crazy with the stickers and I still had two left so I'm not really sure the ratio that I was supposed to do. I guess I was just supposed to put more close together or something. But I finally figured out that you couldn't see me putting the stickers on, so I moved it backwards and showed you how I was putting the stickers on, but it was a little difficult reaching over the thing and everything. You can see it's kind of an awkward angle and I keep pulling it out of frame so that I can put it on and then pushing it back into frame, but I eventually got it. And once I eventually got it, I was satisfied with how cute it looked and put my lamp on it right after I put the liquid in. And I actually had to run away from the camera at this point and go find some scissors. So then when I came back right here, I had the scissors and I had to cut open the liquid so that I could pour the liquid into the base. And here we go, cutting the liquid open and then pouring it into the base and very, very carefully pouring it where it needs to be. So I turn it and then pour and then turn it and then pour and then turn it and pour and lastly turn it and pour until the entire base is full of this liquid. Oops, dropped Elsa. But yeah, completely filled the basin part of it and readjusted it back into place, readjusted Elsa, and finally was ready to watch the time lapse. Once this time lapse actually gets started more than uh, seeing this really cool effect where the liquid goes up through the cardboard, this actually took a really long time by the way, it's just sped up through time lapse, but once we start seeing something, I promise I'll be quiet and just let you quietly watch the time lapse. But if you look by Anna's head, the limb directly above Anna's head slowly starts to show a bloom. And that's the first crystal that we see. And now the crystals are slowly starting to pop up. So I'm going to stop talking now, switch to some calming music, and let you watch the time lapse.
welcome back from my voiceover magic. I really hope you enjoyed watching that. It was very, very, very exciting to see the tree grow like that. It brought back so many memories and it honestly looked so pretty. Like, so pretty. <laughs> I love doing crystal things like that. There's actually a sugar way that you can do it too and there's a way that you can do the sugar sticks. I want to look that up because I'd really like to do that and time lapse that as well, especially if you guys really liked this video. I'd like to be able to make the sugar sticks, like the ones that you can actually eat. The sugar rocks that you can get at like museums and stuff, those are always fun and I want to see if I can figure out how to make those because I know you can. We did it in the fifth grade. But I don't remember. I'll have to look it up. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see that. It does say that this tree will last up to a month. So I might even do some updates on Twitter about how the tree looks. Since it's not a plant and I don't have to depend on the elements to keep it alive. I just have to depend on my cats not killing it. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, definitely follow me on Twitter if you want updates on how the tree is doing. Because I will be posting that. I had a lot of fun doing this. I had a lot of fun watching the tree grow and I hope that you did too because I love crystals and sciencey things like that. And let me know down in the comments if there are any like at home sciencey things that you'd like for me to try. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you come around again soon. So bye. Bye. Oh, bye.